particularly difficult uh, part of the sensory exam is trying to remember dermatomes. Um, it shouldn't be that difficult if you think in terms of the isobars once more of the uh, weather map. And if you go back to the cranial nerve, nerve part of this teaching video, you'll remember that sensation to the face is transmitted via the trigeminal nerve, which has three branches on either side, ophthalmic, maxillary, and mandibular. The reason I go back over that first is because people forget that the ophthalmic branch supplies not just sensation to the forehead, but right back as far as the vertex here. So you test sensation all the way back to the hair to this area here. From then on, you're into the dermatomal distribution. Um, the first is C2. There is no C1. And it's quite hard to remember. So to try and help you along a little bit, if you remember, C2 is at the back of the head. And you can, you know, you're coming down in, in groups. C, then T, then L, then S. Cervical, thoracic, lumbar, then sacral. So you're coming down in, in maps. So for, for ease of uh, remembering this, um, if you go to the shoulders, and remember it's C4. Just this area here, round, the roundness of the shoulder, C4. So when you're testing it, you can use cotton wool, just like that, and say, does that feel normal? And always don't forget to test like with like, or one side to the other if necessary. As you come down, I don't expect you to remember them all, but if you know that this is C4, and then you know straight down to the hand, and if you just hold back, this is C7. Fairly memorable, I would have thought that you've got C4 and C7. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to work out, is it, where C5, 6, 8, etc. So, for example, C4, we know that's C7, so C5 has to be here. C6 is your thumb, C7 as we said, C8, and now you're going to have T1, T2, T3. The next memorable landmark, C4, C7, you should have is T4. Okay, C4, C7. Then come to nipple level, T4. Okay, the next one you come down to, you're down to the rib cage here. So if it's T4 here, 5, 6, 7, 8, this is 10. So nipple level is T4, umbilical or belly button level, if you will, is uh, T10. So where's T8? Well, T10, T4, not rocket science to say it's here. Okay, so C4. C7, T4, T10, and then you come down to the lumbar. Now, L2 is on the hip area here, and the ones I find tricky remembering but, uh, are L5 and S1. So L2 is on the hip here, and then you come down to the feet. So you've got L2, L3, L4, obviously. If you just remember that L5 is the big toe, and the little toe, the, the lumbar is finished now, so it's not difficult to say, well, the little toe is S1. So L5 is the big toe. So if you remember, L2 is your hip, L5 is um, the big toe, then you're now into the sacral ones. Sacral is going to be S1, and it's working way, way up the back this time. And we'll show this in a moment, but it's going to be S2, S3, and S4 and 5 in the perineal area. So just from the far side, you can see that the first part of the, the ophthalmic branch of the trigeminal nerve stops at the vertex here, at the headband area. C2 is here, C4 is here, and then as you come down the thoracic, remember that the umbilical level around the front is T10, but it doesn't come around in a straight line like this. It comes around in a curved line. So you're coming from, here's the umbilicus here, and it's coming up like that. So you must judge a few layers above. So for example, if there's sensory loss at the umbilical level here, you then say, well, it's T10, it's up here at the back, it's a little bit higher. The point is here that you've got C4 again from this side, uh, and then as you come down, look, big toe is L5, your little toe is S1, and as you go up the back, you've got S2, S3, and into the perineal area is S4 and S5. So just to recap, trigeminal, C2, C4, C7, T4, T10, L2, L5, big toe, S1, little toe. So if someone is complaining of numbness or sensory loss anywhere uh, along uh, their whole entire torso, you can at least try and localize it somewhere. Now, it could be a peripheral neuropathy, in which case this is not relevant, but that's the glove and stocking distribution. So you do all the modalities, posterior columns, um, spinothalamic, but if you say, oh, it's actually all going in a particular distribution, then you're into perhaps nerve roots and whether it's a problem with the lumbosacral plexus or the uh, brachial plexus. But just so long as you know where you are, um, geographically, if you like, 
uh, then at least you'll have an idea of how to localize this from a dermatomal point of view.